Good evening everyone, my name is Umesh Kumar from Vijayamati Mudol Engineering College. Today we will discuss velocity and acceleration. Velocity is defined as the distance traveled by an object or as a particle per any time. <coughs> so velocity, it is distance, it is a uh, distance is uh, in meters and the time is in seconds. If the fluid particles move in only one direction, also velocity of a particle is only in one direction that is the one dimensional flow here we for example here we have a pipe uh, in which the water is flowing the water is flowing in only one direction that is the x direction we have shown okay so this kind of example is the one dimensional flow okay so that u is equal to f of x okay. u is the velocity <coughs> in the x direction and next if the velocity of a fluid depends upon two directions then it is known as a two dimensional flow so here we are having one more example that is a, a pipe having a divergent section initially the fluid moves in the x direction itself as it moves through the divergent section okay it it moves diagonally with the x and y so it covers both x and y directions so <coughs> it is a two dimensional flow Okay, initially it is a one dimensional flow here we have shown the one car over which the air flows shown it is one more example for the one or two dimension flow v is equal to f of x comma y because the velocity here it is a function of both x and y directions the one more uh, here that is a three dimensional flow in which the velocity depends upon all three directions that means uh, the motion of fluid depends upon all three directions which x y z for example swirling of water in the river okay here the water rotates and also it moves uh, towards the depth okay in the z direction x and y also water moves towards the depth uh, and here uh, we have shown one more example that is a uh, what uh, air moving over the air flowing over the car here the two it is the air flow over the car it is a two dimensional flow as it crosses the car behind the car it takes swirling action so this is the three dimensional flow here one more example that is a pipe flow we have shown in a cartesian coordinate system we have shown that is i need to supply the water from the origin o to the point p origin o to the point p okay here if we want to reach from O to P then I need to we need to cross the we need to move from O to X first as well as O to Z as well as O to Y so in all the three directions we have to cover then only we can reach the point from O to P then only we can reach the point P so this is the one more example for a three dimensional flow pipe flow here we are re we now let us consider on a three dimensional flow in which u v w are the velocity components in x and y x y and z direction respectively of a fluid particle in the space s this is the space yes we are consider this is the x direction and z direction and y direction u is the velocity component in x direction v be the velocity component in y direction w be the velocity component in the z direction now we need to reach the point p from o okay we 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 shown an arrow mark with arrow mark it is a velocity vector shown so here the velocity vector v is having three components that is u v and w here v this v is a small v this one is a capital v so u is a velocity component which is the function of both space as well as time okay so because velocity is defined as the distance traveled with respect to time so velocity is always depends upon the distance that means the space as well as time so u is equal to f of x comma y comma z comma t because u is the function of x y z as well as t so but here uh, in numerically y and z will become zero afterwards okay and v is the velocity component in y direction so f v depends upon f function of v is the function of f of x y z and t and similarly w is the velocity component in z direction it depends upon is a function of f of x 
y z and t so velocity vector in the vectoral form we can write that v with the arrow mark it's a velocity vector is equal to a i cap plus v j cap plus w k cap the resultant you can write as v is equal to square root of u square plus v square plus w square now for the acceleration acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity that is acceleration is the rate of change of velocity so let ax ay and az are the acceleration in x y z direction respectively so acceleration ax is equal to du by dt it's a total differentiation we have written ax equal to du by dt ay equal to dv by dt and acceleration in z direction is dw by dt Okay, it is a u where u is the velocity velocity changes with respect to time so du by dt in y direction it is a dv by dt in z direction it is a dw by dt so now let us uh, acceleration ax in x direction ay in the y direction and az in the z direction in respectively we will consider Okay, and ax is equal to du by dt ay equal to dv by dt in y direction az equal to dw by dt in z direction here you can see in the figure also ax in the x direction u is the component velocity component in the x direction ay is the acceleration in y direction and small v is the velocity in y direction az in the acceleration in the z direction and small w is the velocity in the z direction so ax is the du by dt now we can uh, write uh, du by dt because it is a total differentiation we are representing further this uh, acceleration depend upon the u and t so that we can write in the form of a chain rule <coughs> du by dt is equal to dou u by dou x into dx by dt plus du by dy into dy by dt plus du by dz into dz by dt plus du by dt dx by dt is equal to velocity it is uh, in x direction it is uh, u so that and uh, dy by dt is the velocity in y direction small v and uh, dz by dt this one is the velocity component in z direction so it is a small w so ax equal to du by dt is equal to u dou u by dou x we are substituted dx by dt here okay so u into du dou u by dou x plus v that is dy by dt we are substituted here okay into dou u by dou y plus w dou u by dou z plus dou u by dou t similarly in another directions also it is in a y direction ay acceleration y direction ay is equal to dv by dt is equal to v dou v by dou x plus v dou v by dou y plus w dou v by dou z plus dou v by dou t and acceleration in z direction is equal to the dw by dt it is a total differentiation is equal to u dou w by dou x plus v dou w by dou y plus w dou w by dou z plus dou w by dou t <coughs> now for steady flow the last terms the velocity varies with respect to time the last terms here in the acceleration expressions dou w by dou t and uh, similarly dou u by dou t in the a, a, a x direction okay, dou v by dou t in the y direction okay for steady flow they are equated to zero because velocity does not change with respect to time for steady flow so dou u by dou t is equal to zero dou v by dou t is equal to zero dou w by dou t is equal to zero then the last term becomes zero so that the remaining term i have written here ax is equal to dou u by dou t is equal to u dou u by dou x plus v dou u by dou y plus w dou u by dou z in a in a y direction dv by dt is equal to the last term here it has become zero okay in y direction ay is equal to dv by dt is equal to v dou v by dou x plus v dou v by dou y plus w dou v by dou z in z direction acceleration in z direction is equal to dw by 
dt is equal to u dou w by dou x plus v dou w by dou y plus w dou w by dou z. Now acceleration in the vectorial form we will write that is a is equal to a vector is equal to ax i cap plus ay j cap plus az k cap. Now resultant a equal to square root of ax square plus ay square plus az square. Now the local acceleration. So this is the acceleration we got. Okay. And now we will find out the local acceleration. The local acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. Rate of change of velocity this is. Or <coughs> velocity changes with respect to change in time. The last terms, whatever the in the acceleration expression we are having here, dW by dt, d sorry, dou w by dou t, and dou v by dou t, and dou u by dou t. Okay, those are the local accelerations. So velocity changes with respect to change in time we are considered here. So here velocity changes with respect to time. So the last terms, whatever in the acceleration term, acceleration equation, it is there. Those are all the <coughs> local acceleration and the convective acceleration. The velocity changes with respect to change in position. The other terms, except that last term, that is a velocity changes with respect to time. Okay, except that last term, the other terms, the remaining terms, do u by do x, do u by do y, do u by do z, all these terms, and here do v by do x dou v by dou y and dou v by dou z dou w by dou x dou w by dou y dou w by dou y dou z all these terms which are the velocity here varies with respect to space varies with respect to position 